the Stanley Cup championship odds for next year are already out because that's how yep. betting works. You know, betting never sleeps. Bone to pick. First, let's see where the Penguins are. Yes. They don't have this numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth best odds for the Pittsburgh Penguins tied with the New York Rangers at 20 to 1. So the Penguins still thought to be a top 10 team in the National Hockey League by sports books, and they are given a 20 to 1 shot in the opening lines for the next year's Stanley Cup. Would you lay that money right now? <laughs> Man, I'm so bad at betting. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say no just because I don't. Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, 20 to one. I, I need to see a little bit more. Like, can I see at least what the Latang contract is yes. <laughs> and, and still get that number? Absolutely. I, I feel like it would probably go get a little bit better. I mean, you, it's always hard to tell what the sports books are going to do based on player signing, yeah. especially in the NHL. It doesn't really move much from player to player, but uh, I would take a 20 to one bet on the Penguins. If they bring back Latang and do some other moves that I'd like to see. Absolutely. I'm guessing the top two on that list are going to be, uh, Colorado, Tampa Bay, respectfully, because the books always don't they usually just go champions. Nope. Nice. Colorado is the top. Colorado is the top at plus 380, which is very, very low odds for futures. Yeah. Number two is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, my goodness. Eight to one. And then the Lightning at nine to one. That's why I brought this up, because I saw somebody say that. I think Levy said that last night on ESPN. And I was like, Really? What we just, but I guess they do have the MVP, the guy that won the rocket. But if they didn't do it this year, what makes you think they're more inclined to do it next year? I mean, I get that they're not going to be a bad team next year, but second best odds to win the Stanley Cup. And I, we won't dive too deep into this, but I wasn't going to let an episode go by without mentioning that. No, absolutely not. Because how, how so how many teams that lost in the first round I mean, the Penguins are 10th, are below the Penguins. How many teams that lost in the first round? I don't know. I just put it like, All the teams that lost in the first round, where are they in the standings? Like, in that uh, round. Like, the Predators have to be down there. Well, the Golden Knights are ahead of the Penguins, and they didn't what make the, the playoffs. So. This is why we don't bet, everybody. This is why we don't gamble. If you really want to if you really want to get good value, the yes. Coyotes are 500 to 1. <laughs> oh, boy. Which is the lowest odds in the National Hockey League. As it should be. Somehow yes. the Canadians are higher. Well, the Canadians are going to get the first overall pick. The Canadians were in the Stanley Cup a year ago. I can see why they got a little bit more love there. Sure. <laughs> more than the Coyotes. I mean, jeez. No, yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> but... yeah, I'm not I'm not saying put the, put the Habs in the top ten. I'm just saying no. they don't need to be the bottom team, even though they were the bottom team this year. Exactly. Oh, that's... Hey, man, the good teams are good. The bad teams are bad. I guess. 